Yo, what's up? My name is Brody. Welcome to the Fighting Worst channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today, we're going to go over some cards I think you should buy or sell. But before we get into this, um, I wanted to say thank you. I have uh, received over 25 subscribers and I just wanted to, you know, share my appreciation. I want to do this for a living. I want to talk about Lorcana. I want to make YouTube videos and every sub gets me a little bit closer to that. Um, I won't be able to do it without you guys. So I highly, highly appreciate it. Uh, eventually, we're going to get back to the community. But for now, thank you. Um, and I also wanted to say last uh on my last cars you should buy video i had a couple of naysayers in my comment section basically complaining about some of the cards that i was talking about and i want to make it clear that not every card or yeah not every card that i talk about is going to be super competitive or super collectible sometimes i'm going to talk about cars that aren't really on all one's uh, on anyone's radar um and i think you know i someone definitely should because uh, some of those cards, from time to time, they will see play. And if the, the player does well, they top, they win, those cards will shoot up. And a perfect example of this is Anna Diplomatic Queen. Um, she has shot way up, way up. She is pretty much $20, you know, plus shipping. She basically $20. So now if you want, you know, two of these, which is what I think you should play, it's going to cost you around $40, a little more than $40. And this is definitely because of uh, Zan. Congratulations to him for winning with uh, the Vegas DLC with his Emerald Steel list. Um, yeah, listen, you should never wait. I want to make this clear, too. Don't wait for someone to top or win a big tournament for you to buy these cars, because this is what happens um, when I got her she was around like three four dollars and it's funny i actually made a video about my favorite uh, legendaries from set five and she was my number one i knew this was gonna happen this doesn't surprise me one bit so yeah don't 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 wait don't wait um especially if i make one of these videos and it's uh, it's, uh, it's on one of these dirt cheap legendaries just go ahead and do it because i i see the light i seen the light with her i knew it was gonna come um, yeah, I don't think you, with all that being said, I don't think you should buy this right now. I believe a lot of this is, you know, due to hype. I, I think she'll go back down to around maybe $15 after the hype dies down. So just wait, just wait a little bit and I think she'll come down. Um, but if you're trying to sell, I will go ahead and do it now. I don't think she'll be higher than $20 simply because she's uninkable. You're not going to play a set of her. You're not going to play four or you definitely shouldn't play four. You should play no more than two and um yeah so i would go ahead and sell now i don't think she's gonna go any higher um yeah the next card i wanted to go over is beast tragic hero um he was also in zan's list as a four of unfortunately this is a card you want to play four of with him being a ship three you know morph you can get him down quickly um i would go ahead and buy this now we've seen this card shoot up to 60 dollars um i would go ahead and do it now he already going up well he's basically 40 dollars already you got a couple listings under 40 and don't be surprised when those get bought out um so yeah he's already 40 dollars. i would go ahead and do it now simply because he has the potential to go up higher i would not wait um yeah i don't have too much to say about him you know he's sad beast he's gonna be expensive unfortunately i don't have the card i wish i had the card i don't have the card um but yeah go ahead and buy him now don't wait uh the next card i wanted to get into is the muses uh this is a card you definitely don't have to rush to buy um or rush to sell uh, or maybe you should sell you know i don't know um she she has seen a whole lot of play we've seen her as low as 22 cents and she's pretty much what she a dollar now uh buck 50 she quickly gets to a buck 50 so maybe you should go ahead and sell this is a card i don't think is gonna like obviously this card is not gonna skyrocket it's uh it's a rare um it's a bunch of list uh listings so i wouldn't i wouldn't hesitate to to buy or sell on this card it's super cheap you know you can get a couple dollars from it if you do sell it's gonna cost you a couple dollars if you do buy you know you can take your time i just wanted to share some light because this was also in uh zan's list which is normally, you know, it's normally not, you know, on the list. He, he played two of her and she put in work yesterday in the final. So if you're interested in her and them, I would go ahead and do it. 
Um, you also see them being played in the Emerald Amber discard list as a four of. Um, I'm actually going to test out playing two of these cards instead of four. Like, it worked very well for Zan yesterday. So I'm going to try two and see how that works because I like Lemon Lime a lot. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, go ahead and pick her up. You know, why not? The next card is not a competitive card. It's not really collectible. It's an honorable mention, which I like to do for these dirt cheap legendaries. This card has gone way, way, way down in price. Um, I would go ahead and pick her up now. Um, from time to time, you'll see her in the limelight uh, on somebody's list. She was in the limelight um, in the DLC Atlanta a few months back. This was a key card. I would go ahead and pick her up now. I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't wait before she shoot back up to around four or five dollars. Yeah, I would go ahead and do it now. I think she's super cheap. I, I need one more so I can have a set. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. Um, She's a fantastic, fantastic card, especially in aggro. There was also a player using her in Steel Song and she was putting in work. Um, I would go ahead and just go ahead and do it now. Like, it's a great card. It's a great legendary. It's a cheap legendary. It's going to see play again. It's too good not to see play. And you don't want to wait for these players to top or win these big tournaments for you to be convinced to buy. Because when that happened, they go back up in price. So listen to me or don't listen to me. Go ahead and pick her up now because it's only a matter of time before somebody does throw her in a throw her in a list and she does well. So and she's key, you know, and she and she was key. So don't wait. Go ahead and do it now. Um, the next card I want to go over is Mufasa Ruler of Pride. He is currently under twenty dollars right now, um, and it's pretty uh pretty trendy too for him to be under twenty. I would go ahead and do it. I would go ahead and pick him up now. I don't think he's gonna go down to like 15, but this is a, I think this card is going down because, uh, well, not only because, you know, you're not, I've seen some lists where they were playing three. I think that's greedy. I think you should only play one. Like if you have two, maybe two, I wouldn't play three. I like, honestly, I wouldn't go over one cause it's just like, I feel like it does get a little weird if you play two. You dig what I'm saying? So I would go ahead and just buy one. And you're not you're not really seeing him in too many lists, too many winning lists. I've seen a couple, but not not a whole lot, not enough for him to shoot up in price. Uh, it's just one I would go ahead and pick up. Like again, you like I wouldn't play more than one, so you can go ahead and get one for twenty dollars. You know, plus shipping. Go ahead and pick up one for twenty dollars. You know, why not? You know, it's a fantastic card, very powerful card. I think it's only a matter of time before we do see somebody win and this card is key and then he will go up in price, maybe to like 25, you know, something like that. Um, it's just one I would just go ahead and do. I have one, I was lucky enough to pull one so I don't have to buy anything. But um, I don't know, I, I, I think you, you just should, you know? I feel like everybody should have at least one Mufasa. You dig what I'm saying? Like, again, don't wait for somebody to top or win a big tournament to for you to be convinced. Just go ahead and pick him up now while he's, you know, under $20. You know, he has the potential to go up higher. I don't think he's going to go. You Like, this card is not going to ever be, like, under $10. You, you dig what I'm saying? I think he he's at a reasonable price right now. You should just go ahead and do it now. And the last card I wanted to talk about is uh, Ursula Deceiver of All. She was also in Zan's list from yesterday. Um, this car went started to go down and I've talked about this car multiple times and cars you should buy I believe she was in my last two cars you should buy because she was just chilling at like $14 and now she's starting to go up a little bit. She's creeping back up. She's uh, upwards towards $20 um, I think you should go ahead and buy this card now I think if you want to sell you should wait you should wait a little bit because I think she's gonna go higher but if you're in the market to buy, I would go ahead and buy her now because I do believe she's just going to keep going up. Like, this is another card. It's just, it's too good to be cheap. It's entirely too good. Um, when she was at 14, I thought that was crazy reasonable. Hopefully, if you saw that video, you went ahead and did it. Hopefully, you bought her. But yeah, nah, she's going back up to $20. I wouldn't wait. I think she's going to go back up. And we've seen her as high as $30. And she chilled at $30 for a bit. So... Yeah, we, she wasn't really getting played, so she started to die down. Zan won yesterday with that Emerald Steel list, and she was key, singing twice, singing um, Strength twice, singing uh, 
uh, let the storm rage on twice. You know, it's good enough to kill just about anything. So, yeah, I wouldn't wait. I would go ahead and pick her up before she does reach $30. I'm not saying she will, but obviously she has the potential to go up to 30 So go ahead and do it now. I wouldn't wait on that. Um, yeah, with all that being said, though, if you, you know, watch this long, I highly appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment at the bottom. Um, some cars I might have missed. Some cars you think I should mention in my next video. Or, you know, maybe you plan on buying these. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Show a little love. Um, yeah, that'll be the video. And uh, I will catch you on the next one.